What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Morgan here at Morgan Oco Gaming, and I'm here with my special guest co-host, Mr. Joe Zamora from Zamora Gaming. Tell him how you're doing, Joe. I'm doing great, Morgan. As he said, I am Joe Zamora from Zamora Gaming here on my channel. He is my co-host, Morgan Oco Gaming. How are you doing, Morgan? I'm doing fantastic, man. All right, and we get started in three, two, one, go! Yep. Nope. All right, so we were... Uh... We were talking Dungeons and Dragons here a minute ago, so Joe just started his first campaign oh, yeah. in Dungeons and Dragons, so uh, why don't you tell him what you built, Joe? I will, but real quick, uh, just a quick recap, just in case you haven't oh, been yeah, watching. Yeah. We're going to go ahead, well, we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to let y'all know, uh, watch the last episode where me and Morgan uh, just did our second battle, and yep. very second intense. Game. Much better than the first one. Yeah, that was a, a nail biter for sure. So, don't forget to watch that and then come back to this video and talk some D and D with us. All right. Yeah, so, what did what did you build, Jeff? I built a dragonborn character, and I wasn't. What, what class were you? Were you a what are you a fighter, or a paladin, or what are you? Okay, uh, so the class I am is. Uh, what you call it? It's a uh, barbarian. I picked barbarian because they said uh, barbarian or fighter is pretty easy for your first time. So I went barbarian, and then obviously then I picked dragonborn because I was like, them some big mofos. So obviously yeah. that'd be a good uh, race for that class. And then uh, I have a dragonborn barbarian character too. Oh really? Yeah. That's awesome. What would what'd you, what'd you name your guy, and what was his backstory? His name is Gronk Stark. Gronk I'm, Stark. Yeah, and uh, Stark. I'm assuming it's pronounced that way. It's. I just picked the German word for strength because I didn't know we had to pick a last name, so I didn't get. To I didn't that. That you said Stark. Yeah. Huh. That's a. Uh, that's ironic because that's a. Uh, I didn't know that's what that meant, but that's. Uh, like the house Stark is like the biggest house in uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't, so that was a, I didn't know. I, I remember now that you said you didn't watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, so I wouldn't have no idea about that. But that's pretty cool. Yes, sir. That is pretty cool. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Uh, You got to go through the tunnel at the bottom. What? Wait, have you what? talked to the chairman yet? I'm pretty sure. Because I think we just, you just did the battle and we just battled. Where's the chairman? He's in the seafood restaurant. I don't know if you've been there yet. I talk to him. No, then you yeah. just go right down that route and you'll hit the cave. All right, All right I got it. <laughs> you can hear me, right? Yeah, perfectly. All right, cool. But uh, the class, I actually got some pretty good rolls on on the stats. Oh, that's good. I got two 17s, one 12, and the rest were 14. And then uh, Joe kind of, it was weird. Like uh, he was, I, when I told him the name of my character, uh, Gronk. Uh, he yeah. was like, uh, that's more of an orc name. I mean, you can use that name, but there's certain names that make more sense. And I was like, well, I'm going to go with Gronk. <laughs> yeah, you can make it, dude. That, that's that's a nitpicky. They, it does not fucking matter what you name your character. But, yeah, mm -hmm. so I you was just like, I'm cool. I have a friend who, his, his character, he was just killed off because he moved to Florida, but his character's name was fucking Jimothy. Jimothy? Yeah, the worst fucking name I've ever heard in my life. Like, that is an atrocious name. <laughs> That's funny. So, but, uh... I have a, what did you, what'd you say your backstory was? Alright, so basically my backstory is, uh... I didn't realize Dragonborns grew so quickly. Uh-huh. But basically, I'm like a middle child of a family of, like, three kids and the parents mm -hmm. and because of an ongoing yeti war the yetis did like an ambush attack one night 
and yeah. like destroyed half the village, killed my mom and my brothers. And so all that was left was me and my father. And basically, I guess my character would have been around like seven at that time since. Yeah, around then. And then, uh, so basically I trained with my father and stuff like that every day. And eventually oh, he passed his uh, war- battle axe on to me once he retired from the army. Because he became a blacksmith. <coughs> Yeah. And uh I ended the war with the Yetis to where they wouldn't oh. attack uh the the valley anymore. Did you come up with the story all on your own? Yeah, I kind of just fucking winged it. <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. I was sitting on the toilet and Joe was like, "What's your backstory?" I was like, "Uh fuck it, let's get medieval." <laughs> let's get medieval. <laughs> yeah. Came up with that yeah. in like 5 minutes. That's, I mean, that's cool. That's super cool. The and then, Yetis. And then Joe gave me, a, like, a little hint to what was going to happen in his story. He was like, so you think you ended the war? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, all right. Well, now I know something's going to happen with that. Yeah, I like that shit. I like when people, like, sprinkle characters' backstories into stuff. But eh, that's the best I could come up with, and so I was like, eh, I'm sure that'll be that'll be well. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Well, that's cool. I'm, I hope you enjoy the game. It's a lot of fun if you get if you play with the right people. Oh yeah. Uh, hopefully, Dusty and Matt can find the time to start their character development because they haven't done theirs yet. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the next gym is levels are twenty five. So try not to go over that. Is it far? The uh, third gym is pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, it's like right next. Like I have, I accidentally have Pokemon level twenty six, so I'm about to put them in my PC, and I won't use them in the gym battle. Oh shit! I don't have any that high. I don't think. I just beat bead. Bead. Yeah. When do you or Betty or in the cave? Oh, okay. Hey, I did that before we did our battle. Oh, fuck. I got trapped by this stupid fucking... My dumbass went to go pick up the Pokeball and got trapped by Stunted. Ah. Yeah, you're not too far behind me because I've been getting trapped like that. Uh, I'm battling the Team Yell right now. Uh. But yeah, that's basically my character right now. Basically, uh, I'm an expert in survival skills and hunting. <laughs> nice. So that, I kind of built that into my character build. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited for you. Joe is hope. Joe is telling me that he hopes you would join because he just spent. He's like he's really invested in it. He spent 150 dollars on all the books and stuff. So. He really wants to play this, so. Uh. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I don't. I, I basically he asked me about it, and I was like, he just thinks you, you won't invest the time in it, basically. No, I think he'll fucking maybe he will invest the time in it, but I think that he'll act like a little bitch at some point during it. I don't know. Me and him just, I don't know. Maybe I'm off. maybe at some point, I don't know. Maybe. Listen, listen, you don't understand because you haven't played. So you have to be very cooperative when you're playing that game. So, like, if he, I don't know, I just don't want to argue with him and, like, ruin everybody's game. Yeah. I don't want, want that to happen. So I think it's best I just not play. I'd like to play, but I'm, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to. I'm sure uh, you say you have friends who play, so you can always get me into a game with you somewhere. Well, I don't see. I don't play on. I've never played online. We play in person. I play every week, sometimes twice a week, with a group right now, and uh, we're like two months into ours. Okay. Well, it's yeah. actually pretty cool on the roll twenty. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, basically the DM can see everything. Uh, the map is basically there for everyone to see. 
So everyone communicating and stuff at all the same time. You can see use webcam and stuff. I I I mean I would guess it's basically like playing in person, but not exactly. But as close to it as possible. I don't know, man. Maybe I will play. I don't know. I just don't want to argue with. I'd have to talk to Jeff and just be like, dude, we just cannot. I just don't. You know how he is. He just throws shade, and I don't. I'm not trying to deal with that. Yeah. So if if there's like no. If he just doesn't do that shit, then I could play. But if he's going to do that, then I can't. I mean, if y'all talk about it beforehand. I mean, I'm, I'm sure y'all have to work something I'm out. To I'm bored as fuck, I, and I love D&D. I can tell you about my character. That, that Like, our story's been pretty dope so far. You want to you hear about it? Go for it. So, I it's it was me and then two other friends. So, I'm a, a, a drow, which is a dark elf, and I'm a fighter. So, uh... I'm an Eldritch Knight, which is like pretty much like a magic swordsman. Yeah. Um, but my backstory is I'm a like I'm a prince of this war tribe called the Anolgrim, and uh, we worship this this goddess of hate, and her name is Ares. And uh, like you're not allowed to feel like if, if if you worship this god, you're not you don't feel any other emotion other than like negative emotion. Mm-hmm. And uh, you only like marry to breed. So he gets married and like falls in love with this chick, and they have a child. And it's the first child like born of like love. Quote: I'm doing air quotes right now, but uh, yeah, the first child born of love in so many centuries. And uh, they find out, and they kill his wife and his child. And he gets off. Like he kills his dad. They imprison him, and he leaves. Like he he eventually escapes, and uh, like I'm on the run, and then we we. That's that's my character's backstory, but uh, we I meet up with like my two friends and uh, so this is this will be a long story. This is like two months. Do you do you want? Do you, I mean, do you want to hear it? It's, yeah, it's pretty, I'm down. Pretty cool. Okay, so so we it starts off we uh me and uh, my friend he's another drow, so he's a dark elf as well, and uh, he's a wiz- No, he's a warlock. He's I can't remember exactly what class of warlock, but he's some kind of warlock. And then my other friend is a human paladin. So uh, we, me and my, uh, the drow friend, the other dark elf, we meet in the woods. And immediately I attack him because I'm on the run. So I'm thinking anybody from my tribe, which is dark elves, I'm thinking like, hey, I'm on the run. I need to attack this person because I don't know who he is. I don't know anything about his story. Like we didn't get to talk about our stories together. I don't know if your DM will let you do that or not, but uh I don't know, we didn't talk, so we knew nothing about each other. So for all I knew, he could have been from my tribe. So I attack him, and I, I fuck up, and he throws me on the ground and shit, and, like, we, like pretty much tells me, like, hey, I'm not trying to fight you. And uh, we we come to an agreement that, like, we just we don't need to fight. We're just going to go our separate ways. Well, we hear screaming in the woods that is like, hell. So he decides to go, and I tell him I'm not going to go because I don't care about people. So I'm – I. I go my separate way, and I decide to follow him secretly. So I follow him, and he meets up and finds this guy tied to a tree naked, which is my other friend, James. <laughs> so he, uh, so we free him, and he pretty much offers us gold to help him find this uh, hooker, essentially, who d- drugged him and uh, stole all his money and shit tied him to a tree. So we go and find it. It turns out she's like this bandit chick who, like, just this is like her whole gig. She just does this with everybody. So uh, she, we we find the bandits, get all this shit back, and then uh, we find this like little bard guy who's like, do you know what a bard is? Yeah, like a seller. Uh, like a a bard is like a he's like a music like a musician like oh. a, somebody who plays like yeah. a magic instrument or some shit, and they're usually like pretty I don't know like swoony. So mm-hmm. we find this guy and we attack. He has this big sack. So like we we decided we want to rob him. So we try and rob him, um, like to get some supplies so we can try. Like we're still trying to find James's shit, but we decide to rob this guy on the way. Well, it, he beats our asses because he's super strong and we didn't know. So uh, he pretty much tells us that like his shit was stolen too by the same people like this because they're like this notorious gang. So. He decides to take us. He knows where they are, and he was already on the way there, so we decide to go with him. So we all go to, like, this bandit's hideout, and we take it over, find all our shit, and he gets back this amulet. turns out what he was looking for was this amulet. So uh, we get back to this town, and uh, 
go and tell these knights that we had talked to before that we had it turned we were we were hired like they told us if we killed these bandits they would also give us a reward so we killed the bandits come back to get the reward and uh, they see the amulet and they they recognize it and want the amulet well the little guy Joe the bard that we met uh, he doesn't want to give it up so they attack Joe and we end up fighting them but he, Joe ends up spilling a little blood on this amulet so this amulet like activates um, and absorbs Joe's soul and uh, resurrects this like wizard uh, witch do you know what a witch is yeah is yeah, yeah. yeah yeah you do know what a lich is okay a, well a witch yeah, yeah. yeah. A lich, no, a lich, L I C H, I think is how it's spelled. No, it is a weapon or what? A lich is like an undead, uh, like a very powerful undead wizard, essentially, like oh, a zombie got it. wizard. So uh, it resurrects this zombie wizard, and uh, this zombie wizard, we try to attack it, but it's like it's just so powerful that like we we roll to attack it, and we can't even roll. We end up getting scared. We can't even approach it, so it freezes over this whole town. And uh, we end up running from it and finding this, like, guild of uh, people. I don't know. It's like a resistance against, the, like, this war that's going on between two sides of this continent that we're on. And uh, he tells us we need to go find this queen so we can kill this lich. So we go find this. We end up going to another kingdom on the way on accident, like, going through this chamber that gets us into all of these puzzles that we fucking got stuck in and shit. It was wild. And then we end up on the other side of the continent. So not where we need to be, but we meet this king, which is all that's irrelevant, but that's what happened. And then uh, he's like the opposing side. He won't help us at all. So we go to find the queen, and we eventually find her. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're sent off to uh, – she tells us we need to go find this cube. So we go find this – it's like some kind of like gate, I guess. Yeah, essentially a tesseract, but it's like it's like a plane jumping tool. So we find this this thing, and uh, it ends up like us finding it. It took us through time essentially, and we end up coming back, and it's five years later, like or uh, five, yeah, five whole years later after. Like we we had been gone for maybe a few days, but in the real time that we were in, it was like five years. So uh, by then, the lich has like taken over the world. And fucking, apparently we had just rolled really shitty on this because this was like the worst possible scenario whenever we came back <laughs> with the cube. So the witch has taken over the world, and uh, they're, we've amassed this huge, like our side has amassed this huge army to like this last stand, and we show up like right before this last stand and go bring, we get into this epic battle and uh, to like take down the witch. And we're actually doing pretty good, and then it starts to go pretty shitty. And then like our friend that, from a while back, another like NPC who's pretty much a part of our party. He's like our fourth player, but he's an NPC. Who, yeah. He's a tiefling rogue, and uh, so we kill him, or I mean, not we kill him, but uh, he he rides into battle and saves us. So it's like this epic thing. Like we hadn't seen him in a while and didn't think he was coming to this fight. So we were lucky to even see him alive. So we're all like, yeah, great, this is awesome. So he he makes this like. Uh, game-changing shot that uh, like turns the tide in the battle but is immediately killed. So we end up retreating from that match because it, that battle because it's just overwhelming numbers so we couldn't beat them. It was apparently it was like set up in our against us like we were never going to be able to beat them anyway. So uh, we retreat and we go find this we go to find this wizard who is allegedly able to help us. And uh, we don't find him, but inside his, like, chamber, we find this clock. And uh, we use this clock, and we turn it back, and it takes us back exactly one day. I don't mean to and, interrupt uh, you, but uh, just so everyone knows, I just had a death. Um, oh, really? Yeah, my Dreepy uh, went down to a bite from a Morpico. <laughs> oh, shit, really? Was yeah. it a one-shot? Yeah. Damn. That's sad. I honestly didn't think you was going to take me out from full, but it did. That's crazy. Damn creepy. Yeah, but go thanks. ahead and continue. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, where was I? I don't even know where I was at. Do you even know where I was at? Um, you have no idea where I was no, at. Y'all just finished the battle with the winch. 
and then uh, something happened after that. Oh, yeah, we go back and to find this wizard, and uh, we don't find the wizard, but in his chamber we find this clock. So we use this clock and turn back the time. We're just fiddling with it. We don't know what it does. Mm -hmm. So it takes it turns out it takes us back one day in time to right before the battle, essentially. So we go and fucking God, what even happened? I don't even fucking remember at this point, but it ends up, no, it doesn't take us back one day. It ends up taking us back like several years or some shit and we damn I can't even remember I can't even fucking remember well I'm gonna skip a bunch of shit so we, we end up my friend is moving to Florida so uh, we have to kill him off essentially so it turns out that the whole time the when our friend rode into battle it wasn't actually the friend we thought it was it was this friend who was not the NPC it was the actual player His, he was Jimothy the bard I mean, not the bard, but the paladin. So uh, he came in and sacrificed himself to, like, save our lives, and we didn't know the whole time. I, I wish that I could have got it on, like, recording, because it was literally, like, some J.J. Abrams type shit. But it was really good. So now we've had to introduce this new character because our friend moved away. But, yeah, dude, D&D is super crazy. If you have a good DM in, or a good dungeon master, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. Well... We'll find out soon, because Joe said he has a whole fucking story lined up, but um, he hasn't shared any of the information with us yet. John, I mean, he he shouldn't share it with you until you start playing. That would be how I'd want it to happen. Damn, dude. If, so you're saying I can't be over 25 to fight the gym? I mean, you can, but try not to be. Why would I not want to be over 25, though? Is that the limit for the gym? That's his uh, strongest Pokemon. Oh, I don't care then. If if that's, I I just wanted to listen to me because I don't have anything that's not over twenty five at this point. No, no, it's just to make the challenge a little more difficult. It's not. Oh, so I, yeah. it's it's not to make it like oh, you can't do it. But I I'm yeah, I'm just saying like that cap where in the game they always make that level cap during badges where you can't use anything or it won't listen to you if it's over a certain level. Oh no! Right now it's level thirty, but the, oh, okay. if, you're, if you're level thirty. It's not going to be a challenge. Word. Okay. Well, I just I don't have anywhere to put it in, in a box right now, and everything's hit twenty five. So well, you have, the, you have the box with you. Remember? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't even know that because I haven't been reading the text. <laughs> you got that a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't even know that. When we got off the train to into the wild areas, when you get that. I'm trying not to fucking hit these trainers on the way. I think you have to catch these Pokemon in, in the fire thing, too. You don't have to. You can defeat them, remember? Uh-uh. I don't. Yeah, you can defeat them. You don't have to. Uh, Alright, well, I'm just going to defeat them. It's more points if you catch them, but if you defeat them, it's still points. Isn't it more points, though? Yeah, it's more points if you catch them. Oh, well, I'm going to catch it then. I mean, you can catch them. You just, I mean, don't use them. Well, yeah, I know. But I want to get it over with. I want to challenge the gym leader already. Oh, I forgot to add the points and shit to my uh, template. What is the score right now? It's uh, I have it what are you, 8 to 0. It's 8 to 0. Yeah, somewhere. And my school bunny has a death, and my war beetle has a death. I need to change my blip plug, and my score bunny thing too. Man, I've been slacking. I do not have for everybody watching. I do not have a score bunny or a blip plug anymore. They are both evolved, <laughs> and both of them have a death. Yeah, courtesy of me. Yeah, courtesy of Mr. Joe here. And uh, so if, you're just, if you're just tuning in, if you whoever hits the gym first and defeats the gym leader gets one point, and then we battle immediately after. Uh, both of us have defeated the gym, so after that, whoever wins that battle gets an additional three points. So uh, potential for four points per gym. And right now I am at eight points. Um, the total. Like it to go undefeated and get all the points first, it'd be 
um, 32 points. So I'm a fourth ahead of Morgan right now. <laughs> yeah, real shitty. <laughs> it sucks. But uh, he came real close to beating me this last battle, so I'm a little worried yeah. about this next one. Especially since my Dreepy fucking sucks. Mm, your Dreep, my fucking uh, Ponyta sucks, so. Yeah, but it's gonna get better. <laughs> yeah, it'll get better, but. Dreepy's not, not gonna me. evolve till 50 something. Oh, and Dreepy mm. has another death. Damn, really? Yep. Wow. That's the thing that sucks about Dreepy is because it evolves so late and it's literally shit until it does. Oh, man. I didn't think of this when I first made the team either. I just kind of had it there. So basically, you would have the advantage after this battle if you beat me because you can uh, give uh, Dreepy the final kill since you haven't issued a kill on any of my Pokemon. Damn, you're pretty far ahead of me because I'm just now battling Marnie. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, you're pretty not far ahead of me. Yeah, but man, I need I need to really worry about Dreepy right now. <laughs> and I have yeah. really no fire Pokemon, no Pokemon to really deal with fire types either. Oh really? I don't either. Now that I think of it. Yeah, I don't have any either. We're uh, coming up on 27 minutes on this one. On this episode. This is episode 6. So, uh, making good progress. Yeah. What the hell? I thought I had 5 points by now. Well, I guess not. Well, I'll for sure get a point after this one, and then I can find, uh, at least get to the gym leader. No. Damn, I should have really, uh, thought about it. Wait, what the hell? I only have four points. Thought about what, the Dreepy? Yeah. Yeah. Because even by our final battle, I'm not going to be able to have it fully evolved. If it even gets there. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I didn't think about that. Unless you grind it. I, mean, I don't even remember. What, what? Don't don't you finish the game around level 60 or so? Yeah. Dracolok's not bad. Dra Dreepy's just shit. Dracolok's not that bad. Alright, I think I just got the five points. Sweet. So I got the five points. I got my Pokemon ready to go. I'm going to revive this Hellraiser real quick. And give it a potion so it can do some battle. Hopefully it doesn't die <laughs> in this gym battle. Because then I'll be having to go into the battle against Morgan with only five Pokemon. And clearly that'd be yeah. a, a big disadvantage for me. Alright, so I'll just beat Marnie with no death. Oh boy. God damn right, have, you, have you started the gym battle or do you want to go ahead and yeah, after I, we I don't know, this text we y'all you've started it? Yeah, I'm in the bat I'm about to start the battle right now. Okay. He's well, just doing I'll, his we'll dialogue. Do cool, we'll just play through it then. Alright guys. So basically, y'all have gotten three back-to-back -back gym battles so far. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So Enjoy it now, because there's going to be a big drought between the next battle. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Kaboo. Get ready to freaking die to my Pokemon. Get ready to freaking die. Yes, son of a bitch. Oh, in my Pokemon. So Joe told you that he wants me to play this? Yeah, he want, He said he wants you to play. Mm -hmm. I might play then. So. And then, uh, Dusty and Matt haven't really been 
doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, I don't know. Like, they, they've been saying they're going to get their stuff together, but they haven't really even gotten their characters done. So. Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're lollygagging, basically. Lollygagging. To put it simply. So what do you think he'd be if he joined? Um, I'd either use I'd use one of these guys that I've just painted. Probably this Hexblade Warlock that I'm about to paint. Oh. Yeah, you I have buy your own person. No, like I have the. You can buy miniatures. You can get custom miniatures for the for D and D, like of your character. You can go online and make them, or you can buy ones that are already made. Like you can go online and buy a, a D and D brand. Uh, Dragonborn Barbarian little miniature figure. Yeah. And uh, they come primed and ready to paint, but uh, they're colorless unless you paint them. So, um, yeah, they're they're really cool. So I paint them. I buy them and paint them as like a hobby. So I'd yeah. use one that I already have. That's pretty dope. Yeah. All right. Two Pokemon down. Ponenta's wrecking his team. But we are negative one attack. So we'll see how we do against his last Pokemon. That he, He's going to Gigantamax, obviously. But we're going to stay in since we have plus two special defense. Man, my body's been sore all day. I hope I got the Rona. Better not. I mean, I can't get you sick. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but still, you better not. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, no, he's Gigantamax. I'm really afraid of this Pokemon right now. What is it? The Gigantamax into Scorch. Oh, yeah. I'm is really... it taking your ass, baby? No, but I'm really worried it's going to get a kill here. Yeah, I don't have anything to deal with. Uh, I don't have any, like, water or anything. Yeah, my dumbass thought, oh, Q-Fant can deal with fire types, but it's a steel type, so. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, uh, can it? <laughs> yeah. Turns out it cannot. Oh, and it gets a kill. I knew it. What kill? A kill on Ponyta. Oof. This is so two good. kills down on Dreepy and one on Ponyta. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good at so all. So what happens if, if we uh, all our Pokemon lose all three of our lives, then, then the remaining person wins? Yes. That'd be dope. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I, I guess that's what I'm going to I bet you're enjoying that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, he has two more turns to Gigantamax. Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. All I know is champion. Oh, it's flash fire. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well, Charmeleon <laughs> took the hit a lot better. That's great. But now That's my but now my special attack is lowered. Oh. I hope you lose. Ah, I bet you do. Because you said <laughs> yeah, you really... beat me. <laughs> yeah, I mean I might, but either way I really, really fucking hope you especially after saying that, dick. Dick. Oh shit. Oh, and Charmeleon hangs on with six health points. This Oh, what the hell? What? what? He used Max Flare and the Fire Spin ability kicked in. What? This is not good. All my last Pokemon are weak. Oh, my pen just went off and everything. My fucking computer, my laptop closed on me <laughs> during, during the video. That's not good. No, super annoying. It's alright, man, because the recording is just dropped fucking 
I don't even know how that happened. Oh man, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I'm about to uh, white out. Are you? Yeah. No, you're not. My last three Pokemon are weak to fire. You're kidding. No, I'm not. I mean, Damn. I don't know if that counts as me losing the game, but I mean, I I I'd still have Pokemon with no. health. No, you still have a, uh, you still have lives left. It's it's lives. If everything faints, it doesn't matter. It's it's alive. Oh, but it's it's not good right now. Not good at all. I gotta fix my cam. I'm so sorry. All right, uh, Sprout, be faster, please. I guess I don't I don't know what to do here. Okay, I'm faster. Can this kill? Okay, it didn't kill, but it poisoned, so it's gonna die next turn. But will this flame will kill me? It does. There we go. Oh man, this. <sighs> so what happened? So basically, I win, but I've suffered a lot of death. How many deaths? Uh, let's see. You gotta be honest here. Now, I can't walk until you post. Are you disloyal, Joe? No, I'm trying to get all my stuff in 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 line. Middle left. What the fuck? Where's the other one? Fuck <laughs> that dude! What a mess this is about to be. All right, I can go into the gym. Are you? Should I battle or no? Uh, no, I'm I'm already done with the battle. All right, well, let's go ahead and save exactly where we are then. <laughs> okay. My guy's a little too excited. Uh, it's like, dude, you lost. Okay, so go ahead and uh, you've saved. I'm exiting the dialogue. All right, well, I'm going to sit right here then. So basically, and... Charmeleon has two lives. Ponyta has two lives. Joltik has two lives. Dreepy has one. Uh, Reba has three. Because I didn't send it out. And Ivysaur has two. No. All so right. I'm fucked right now. Hopefully I don't battle another fire trainer. <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay. Well, um, I believe it. You're done out of the dialogue? No, still almost done. I'm getting Jesus. the TM and stuff. You're fucking progressing while I can't move is what you're doing. No, you can move. Ooh. I never said you I can can't move. move. If I move, then I'm I'm battling. You could have done the battle with the catching. I already did all that. Mm. I'm standing in front of the the well, gym trainer. Right now. I won't move for thirty seconds. On next uh, battle, it's, it's, it's been more than thirty seconds. It's been like a minute and thirty seconds. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm counting. I'm counting until I save. You're you're not moving. All right, saved. Save. Yeah. All right, cool. A minute and thirty seconds. You ain't moving. All, All right, right, everybody. Thank That's you fine. for watching. I'm sorry for that little shit happening that I just had uh, there towards the end. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, tuning next episode because we are about to have a what is surely to be a very exciting match. So. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm very demoralized here uh, with all my deaths that happen. But hopefully that doesn't happen again until ever. <laughs> I hope it happens again as soon as possible. All right, guys. That's it from some more gaming. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.